Hello everyone. In today's video, I have built a tornado siren. Yay! Yeah. Now, if you don't know what a tornado siren is, or also known as an outdoor warning siren, um, they are essentially huge machines that are capable of producing enormous sound. Like for example, this one's uh, what, what, uh, 113 decibels at 100 feet. So it's 100 feet away from this thing, and it outputs approximately 113. This is a miniature version of that. During something like a tornado warning, where they're trying to warn the public of an incoming storm capable of producing a tornado, these things go off, and they often go... But, this is the federal signal 2T22 tornado siren. It was first produced in the early 50s by the Federal Signal Corporation. Now this thing is capable of producing 113 decibels at 100 feet. Mine is miniature, so it's probably not going to output that same sound. But it should be pretty close at maybe 10 feet or so, something like that. Now let's look at some details about this model. So essentially this is two sirens powered by one motor. Now as you can see, there is a dual shaft motor. That thing is very, very fast and very, very powerful. It is a DC motor. Uh, the real siren would use AC, but I did not want to mess with that. So yes, dual shaft. So one shaft is going to one rotor, and when it spins really fast through these holes and openings, it creates an extremely loud sound, because the air is getting chopped up and forced through these little holes. And it gets even louder because it's forced through a horn, which amplifies sound and output. So it's just the way it's built, it's made to push out some sound. It's very favorable for an omnidirectional siren. Now, here is the top of the siren. It is a 12 port rotor and stator with 12 horns and um, let's see, so that's 24 bolts because one on top, one on the bottom, each has 12. So yes, it's a lot of everything. Uh, this is a high tone because the more horns, the more ports, uh, the ratios, everything, that will result in a higher tone. This, on the other hand, is the bottom of the siren, and it is the low tone, which has 10 ports, 10 horns, everything like that. It has about 20 bolts, yes. And what this is, is a dual tone siren. So while one siren is making its one siren will, go, will be going and it'll just be very loud. I mean, this, is the, this thing is two sirens. That's gonna really output some sound. And to be curious what this little hat looking thingy roof thing is, um, it's essentially to keep rain out, because obviously if it rained, it would get inside of the rotor and ruin everything. Uh, so, this is a little hat, this is actually hollow on the inside, and it lets air go in, there's a little mesh here, and that can go suck into the siren and it makes your noise. Here at the bottom, it's a very simple design, got some legs holding it up, of course, and it's just a hole here. Planning to put some mesh here so a wasp doesn't make a nest in there or something. And this little block in the bottom here is actually uh, where I'm going to mount a 4x4. Four four. And here, I'm getting a little more digital here, is my, well, here it says it on it, the Outdoor Warning Siren Emergency Timer, or OWSET. Uh, version 2, version 1 was not very good and it broke. <laughs> um, this one is awesome complete with stickers, even a key lock switch, which it is plugged in and armed. Okay, that's scary. <laughs> okay, um, here it is. I've got everything. In here is there is an Arduino, which is a microcontroller, which uh, when you press the buttons, everything, test, danger, tornado, um, that will tell this, oh no, emergency. Here it controls the relay, which is an electronically controlled switch. So all this needs is a small input from the Arduino, 5 volts, and that makes the relay latch. And that turns on the siren. And this is just a connected bus. So yes, now you get a little bit of the juicy history of this siren, uh, some of the inner workings. And without further ado, let's fire this thing up. Safety first, kids. Okay. 
Now I like to hold this, it goes crazy. Now without further ado, the first full voltage test of the Mini 2T22 Tornado Siren with all 22 horns attached. Here we go, it'll be a three second test. Um, three second idle test, here we go. Holy heck, that's loud. Ha ha! Safety first, that would have really hurt my ears. What? Did you hear that? That was awesome! Now, of course, not an amazing wind down. This is a brushed motor, so inside of the motor there are little itty bitty brushes that are scraping against the shaft which make the thing turn. So yes, hoping to maybe add some wind down capacitors, but that was phenomenal. Uh, let's do a tornado drill. <laughs> Here you go. Crap, crap, crap. process all that joy. We did it! This took me about, what, two months to put together? Worth every dollar. Just amazing results we're getting from this thing. I can't believe it. It's so perfect. I love the design. The normal thing, it does have just all yellow horns. I went to go, wanted to do yellow and black because I happen to have black PETG. Oh yeah, another thing. This is printed in PETG, which is very heat resistant and it's really, it's naturally UV resistant. And I plan to have this thing outside for maybe a few months. Uh, probably going to take it down in the winter, because there aren't usually tornadoes in the winter. Oh, I can't believe that went so well. I think, to finish this off, we should do a danger uh, drill. Here we go. Alright, two months of work. Here we go. Tornado Siren. It has a danger option too, which it's a different tone. Um, which is essentially your average, oh no, something's wrong kind of thing. Tornadoes are a special scenario where you just keep the siren on for a solid three minutes. This is four seconds on and four seconds off with the danger drill. Um, so yes, there are some differences between these two buttons. Also operated with an actual key, so I, I mean, I wanted to add some security to this thing just to make sure something like, I don't know, some elbow didn't take this or something. I don't, I don't know. Um, but awesome. I even have warning labels. I mean, this thing is awesome. I just couldn't have been better. I love it. Well, uh, this is the end of this video. I will see ya hopefully at the end of this week. This is Tuesday, uh, August 6th of 2024. And this is Miles. See you hopefully by the end of this week.